Guess what? There is no one human being that is identical to another human being. The Almighty God created us unique with our unique identity. Your DNA and my DNA is made out of 3.1 billion bits of information. In everyone's DNA, there is 3.1 billion bits of information. If I were to actually change, uh, uh, write my DNA into words with 500 words per A4 uh, paper, 500 words per page, it will take 600,000 pages to write your DNA and my DNA. 600,000 pages, 500 words per page. You put all the encyclopedias of the world together, they will get nowhere near your DNA. You have the greatest encyclopedia ever to exist inside of you. And out of the seven point something billion people that live on the face of this planet as we speak, there is no one's fingerprint that is identical to the other one. And somebody comes along and says that this all happened because it was all a fluke. Something exploded over 13 billion years ago and out of this big bang, everything came into this complexity and perfection. Get a life. Get a life. Just your DNA is blows anyone's mind away. And some people are trying to manipulate your DNA. <laughs> Shame on you. Blinded by Satan. Just your DNA is amazing. God is amazing. The Creator is amazing. Elohim is incredible. So perfect universe, so complex universe, and you're telling me there is no God. If I were to say to anyone that is listening to us, the Oxford Dictionary came in this perfection and complexity because there was an explosion in the printing press. That would be insane to claim such a claim. The Oxford Dictionary came together in this perfection and complexity because an explosion happened in the printing press. This is absurd. The moment you look at the Oxford Dictionary, you know for sure there was a brain behind this Oxford Dictionary. A brain put it together. It was intentional, made by a sophisticated brain. How much more this complex universe that has come in this perfection and complexity, how much more does this brain, this universe has a brain behind it that put it together. This brain we call, or the Holy Bible calls that brain God. And this God is Jesus Christ, the love of my life.